this video tutorial will show you how to insert a rollover button after creating the button in Photoshop so I'm just going to show you how you can expect that to look here's my home page and I'm going to preview that in Internet Explorer here you can see when I roll over the gallery button lights up with a red stroke around the text so that's what we're gonna do in this tutorial so let's close that one and I'm gonna delete this from Dreamweaver so I can start again here we go now I need to work in Photoshop so I have Photoshop open here and I'm gonna start a new file and this file is gonna be my gallery button so that's what I'm gonna call it that's too big I don't want it to be 1200 pixels wide I probably want it to be 150 wide and about a hundred in height that's typical button size you might want it a bit smaller but you can have a play around with the image size uh, and get it just right for your own web page so we'll wait for the canvas to load and you can see here I've got a blank white canvas that is 150 wide, 100, 100 tall. So I'm going to get some simple text using the text tool on the left hand side. I'm just going to load this tool for me. Computer's a bit slow today. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click onto the canvas and type the word gallery and I'm going to accept the changes by clicking on the tick up here and I'm also going to click the black mouse tool just to move the gallery text into the middle a little bit more okay so that's how my button is going to look and what I'm going to do is just save this I'm going to find my website folder you can see I've previously created these buttons I'm just going to overwrite them so yep save now I've saved the Photoshop file which means I can go back and edit the button but I also want to save a JPEG because websites prefer to work with JPEGs so I'm going to change the file format to JPEG save OK that menu there that I've just clicked OK on is asking you how how much quality you want in the image um, so don't worry too much about that now what I'm going to do here is set the properties for when you roll over the button so I'm going to go to blending options you notice that I I'll do that again I right clicked on the text layer and then went to blending options and you can add a number of options you can have um, uh, let's have a look shadows so when you roll over a shadow appears that's quite a nice effect or a stroke and I want my stroke to be red okay I'm going to click OK and this time I'm going to save the image as gallery button over which means when I move the mouse over that is how it will look so let's click save OK OK I also need to save a JPEG version so let's go to file save as and JPEG save this is the option here how much quality do I want in my image so I normally keep it fairly large it still loads pretty quick okay and the last step now is in Dreamweaver I'm gonna click on insert and then image objects rollover image and from here I can insert my rollover image so this is going to be called gallery button the original image is this one here the JPEG and the rollover image is the JPEG that is called over and also here I can specify the link so that's handy because I'm going to link it to the gallery page okay okay and you can see here that my button is inserted. I can put that in an active, of course. Let's see it working. Hit F12. Our school has.
has these ActiveX content block restriction so I'm going to allow that yes and see when I roll over it lights up which is a nice effect and then I can click on it and it will take me to the gallery page <laughs> 